What is going on, Bills fans, Bills Mafia, the Buffalo Bills Nation? I'm Thomas. This is the Buffalo Fanatics YouTube channel. Thank you guys for checking out another video. Today, it is Tuesday, November 13th, 2018, two days after the Buffalo Bills go into East Rutherford, New Jersey, totally annihilate the New York Jets in front of their hometown, their home crowd. They were stunned. They couldn't believe it. The Matt Barkley experience came to Buffalo, and he showed out. What an amazing game. Unbelievable. Most Bills fans, I'm sure you guys did not expect to that kind of performance from Shady, from Robert Foster, from Zay Jones, from the defense, everybody. Probably from the defense. You probably expected it from the defense, but you didn't expect that at all from the offense, and that was what made this game really fun to watch. Um, so without any further introduction, let's jump right into it. So first off, before I even talk about the Bills, I got my Sabres shirt on. They are playing tonight. I think they're playing at, are they playing at home? I don't even know. At 7.30... I hope you guys are watching. I'm watching Tampa Bay Lightning, best in the division. Going to be a fun game. Uh, if you guys don't like hockey, what else do you guys like? Any other sports besides Buffalo? Is Buffalo Bills, are they the only team you like? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, that's besides the point. Let's jump right into it. So let's start off by talking about the man, the myth, the legend himself. Matt freaking Barkley. 12 days on the roster, and he goes out and just dominates. Like... Where did it come from? <laughs> I mean, it, I don't know if it was Dable. It looked like a pretty good game plan. Um, I was very impressed with that first drive. The two plays. Two plays. When's the last time the Bills even scored on the first drive of the game when they get the ball? It's usually a three and out, and we just say, all right, we don't get the ball at halftime. <laughs> you know, that's, that's usually what it is. But Matt Barkley comes out 15 for 25, 232 yards, two touchdowns, 117 quarterback rating, no interceptions. A very, very solid game. He almost threw an interception, I believe, was it in the third quarter or second quarter? I don't remember, but he almost threw an interception, I believe, to Morris Claiborne, but he couldn't come down with it, so no interceptions there. Matt Barkley could easily find the wide open wide receivers, found Zay eight times. Zay had eight receptions uh, for 93 yards and one touchdown, almost two, but Jason Crooms, uh, he got that fumble uh, in the end zone, and that was a touchdown, and Jets fans couldn't believe it, and the Jets couldn't believe it, but it was a touchdown, and let's go Buffalo, am I right? Also, something else to remember, Kelvin Benjamin, where were you, buddy? Where were you? Also, also, Terrell Pryor, where were you? For your former team lets you go. We pick you up, and you don't do anything. I, guess, I don't even know if he was targeted in the game. Are you open? Can you ball? Are you sure? I don't know. Deion Dawkins has the same amount of touchdowns as Kelvin Benjamin this year. The same amount. One touchdown. Kelvin Benjamin must go. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. Kelvin Benjamin's got to go. Uh, Zay is emerging as the number one. Robert Foster with a game. Three receptions, 105 yards. First 100-yard receiving game from a wide receiver on the Bills roster this entire season. It's been like a season and a half, it feels like, since we've had a wide receiver th put up over 100 yards. We almost had two. Zay had 93. So, you know, that was a very good offense uh, that we saw in the field uh, last game. However, going into Jacksonville after the bye... Josh Allen is expected to start if he's healthy. I think he will be healthy. I've been saying this before uh, week uh, eight against the Patriots. I said this to my to my dad. I said, watch Allen come back. It makes sense. He's going to have the whole uh, bye week to, uh, you know, come back. And I think he'll be healthy then. And it's looking like it's going to happen. Also, the defense is unbelievable. Two interceptions, I believe, last game. I, I couldn't watch the whole game. I had to leave. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't watch the whole game. But... Uh, defense number one in the league in yards. That means they're the best defense out there right now. Number one. Number one. Another cool thing about the defense, Levi Wallace was the only player to play every single snap on defense last game. I like Levi Wallace in the preseason. I saw some things that I really like from him, and I'm really interested about Levi Wallace and Ryan Lewis. 
Both of those guys seem very, very interesting to watch as they go forward. They're both very young, and they both played pretty good. Uh, I think we can agree all on that. I mean, I didn't see Levi Wallace give up any big gains or anything. He does have to change that 47. Uh, if he wants to be that number two, he should change it. I don't know if he's going to... He likes maybe the outcast number. I don't know. Change that to like 28. Philip Gaines is gone. Change that. Get that 28. Get that 26. Is there a 26 on the team? I don't think so. 22? Get Vontae Davis's number. <laughs> you know, why the heck not? Another thing. Isaiah McKenzie. What a great signing. Great for special teams. He came up. He came and showed up. I love those jet sweeps. Very fast, you can tell. He's might be our new Marquise Goodwin. Who knows? Who knows, you know? Also, the bit maybe the biggest the possibly the biggest uh thing that happened after the game. We all kind of knew what was gonna happen. We were just kind of waiting for it. Uh seems like some Bills fans are upset because they like to joke about it and whatnot. And I know you I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. Nathan Peterman is finally released. Rico! The, the NPP is over, buddy. It's it's over, and, you know, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm happy about it, though, because, you know, there's no more laughing about Nathan Peterman on the Bills, and um, I do feel bad for him. Obviously, Nathan Peterman's a really good person, and, uh, you know, and he doesn't deserve any hate or anything, but, you know, he's just not meant to be a football player, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I wish him the best. I hope he gets signed by somebody, and I hope he gets picked up and turns his career around. That would be really cool to see, uh, but not with the Bills. Not with the Bills. Um, also, Kelvin Benjamin. I want to go back to him for a sec. Remember that one catch that he almost had in the end zone for a touchdown, and he dropped it? <sighs> I don't even know what to say about that. I just... He is so shockingly bad. Shockingly bad. Sorry, excuse me. Shockingly, he's so shockingly bad. I don't, I don't know. I, he's just got to go. I, I, I really think that it's a no-brainer. You got to cut him. You, there's no way you're resigning him. He's not bringing anything except drops to your team. You got to get rid of him. You got to get rid of him. Another player that just continues to impress, Wyatt Teller. I think he got his first start this game, and there, you didn't hear his name once, did you? I mean, I don't remember. He, I think he played fan phenomenal, uh, you know, and uh, and he might be the new bull uh, to, re to replace uh, Richie Incognito. He might be that guy. Shady, LaShawn McCoy finally has his day. 113 yards on 26 attempts, two touchdowns, 4.3 yards per carry. Very good game by Shady. Do you guys see that juke? You guys see, I'm not that juke, the spin move on Jamal Adams to run for like 20 something yards. I don't think there's anything better than seeing Jamal Adams fail at, at tackling. I don't think I don't know if there's anything better. Uh, but you know, it was the whole Buffalo Bills day uh, at East Rutherford um, in New Jersey, and the Jets couldn't do anything in the first four possessions of the Jets' uh, offense. No first downs. No first downs. Um, you know, I think most people, most fans, most Bills fans, thought that. Josh McCown would come in and, and do way better than he did. Uh, I think that because, you know, we, what we saw last year when we lost to them, when we went to New Jersey, we lost to them and we saw that he was actually good and he was pretty good last year. I mean, let's be honest. I got to give him I got to give him props So being pretty old uh, and, and, you know, pretty much being a backup for his entire career, you know, for uh, for him to come in, you know, that that last season on the Jets and, you know, ball out. That was pretty cool. Uh, not happy that he beat us, but you know, whatever. Um, but this, you know, this year we got our revenge and uh, it was at the Jets Stadium. Now, if you don't think we uh, could have beaten them then, now you got to know that we're better than the Jets. Uh, clearly, <laughs> 41 to 10. There were still people trying to argue after the game that the Jets were better. I don't know how you do that. You lost by 31 points. That's the 31 point deficit. I couldn't believe that people were actually starting to, to try to even cover up I guess I don't know it was crazy but a phenomenal performance by the offense this is what we've been waiting for and it finally arrived I actually posted on social media I said Matt Barkley is gonna score two touchdowns and you know I, I know there's people out there that saw that comment I, I know there is um so I'm just saying I got that right <laughs> but uh you know I, I had a feeling that Shady was gonna go off to and uh, and he did, and it was just the game. It was like a, it was like the Minnesota Vikings game. What was it, thirty-one to three at the half? Are you kidding me? 
I mean, unbelievable. Like, if the Bills could just do that every single game, if they can execute on offense every game, and that might just be their problem. They just can't execute. They don't have the talent to execute. Obviously, with... Uh, with Derek Anderson and Nathan Peterman, they didn't have the talent. But Matt Barkley, I think, has has definitely got a spot on this roster, especially for next year as the backup to Josh Allen in case he goes down. Very capable in this game. Very happy that he's on our team. Uh, and for everybody that has a Tyrod Taylor jersey, you might want to change that to Barkley now. Put some duct tape over it. Get a sharpie. You know, you know, you know the drill. So. That might be the next thing for you guys to do if you got a Tyrod Taylor jersey, is put uh, Barkley on the nameplate. But that's going to do it for me, everybody. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go leave a big like down below. I would really appreciate it, and everybody from the Buffalo Fanatics would really appreciate it. If you guys want to say anything, if you guys want to comment anything, go down below. You know what to do. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, we're on that 10K and then on to the 12K chase just like Shady. So we need you guys' support. Keep subscribing. Keep liking the videos. Keep commenting. Keep watching. We love your guys' support so much, and we thank you, and we wouldn't do this without you guys. Uh, we can't do this without you guys. Uh, and so I just want to say thank you to everybody that watched this video. I appreciate it, and go Bills. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.